What's up everybody? Welcome back. Patrick here. Moving on to another question. This is a short answer type of question, a word problem. So you wrote a test with 30 questions and for every correct answer you receive five marks. For every unanswered question you receive two marks and every incorrect answer you lose two marks. If you got M questions correct and left N questions unanswered, write a simplified expression for your score. So this is sort of a unique test because you're receiving five marks for every correct answer, but any question you left unanswered, you're also receiving marks. And then for every incorrect answer, you're losing two marks. So you gotta be really careful with which questions you choose to answer in this test. So out of 30 questions, it says that you get M questions correct N questions you left unanswered So for the correct questions, you're receiving five marks each for the unanswered questions, you are receiving two marks each. Now what's left here? Well, there's a number of questions that you got incorrect, but they didn't tell us how many incorrect questions you got. They only told us the amount of correct questions you got and unanswered questions you got. But if we know that the number of correct questions is M and the unanswered questions is N, then we know that the number of incorrect questions is gonna be 30 minus M minus M the remainder pretty much of the 30 questions. So let's say for example, that out of the 30 questions, you got 10 correct, five you left unanswered. Well, how much are going to be, how many questions are gonna be incorrect? Well, it's gonna be 30 minus 10 minus five. So 15 will be incorrect. So the number of incorrect questions will always be 30 minus M minus N. And for these, you are losing two marks. So basically with this now, we can create an expression for your final score. So you are receiving five marks for every correct question. So five times M gives us all of the marks you receive from all of your correct answers. You're receiving two marks for, for every unanswered question. So two times N would be all of the marks you receive from your unanswered questions. And then you are losing two marks. So you put a minus two here for all of the questions you get incorrect. And all the questions you get incorrect is 30 minus M minus N. So you would put that in brackets. So that right there is the trickiest part of the question, knowing that that's what you do here. And then to simplify, we would just simply distribute this negative two inside the brackets. So we have five M plus 2n minus 60 plus 2m plus 2n. We're pretty much taking that negative 2, multiplying it by everything in the bracket. Then from here, you can just collect like terms. So 5m plus 2m gives us 7m. 2n plus 2n gives us 4n. And then we got this minus 60 here. So that there is your expression for your final score and you can actually test it so you can actually pick numbers so let's say we go with our um, previous example where we got 10 correct we had five unanswered so that means that 15 were incorrect the remaining of the 30. so if we got five correct or uh, we got 10 correct then we're getting five marks each for them so that would be 50 marks and then here we're getting 10 marks, right? Two marks times five unanswered. Then we're losing two marks here for the remaining 15. So minus two times 15 gives us minus 30. So this would be 60 minus 30, which would give us 30. And if we take this M and this N value instead and plug it in here, we would have seven times 10, which is 70 plus four, um, times uh, five, 
which would give us 20. So this would be 70 plus 20, which is 90. And then 90 minus 60 gives us 30, which is the exact same answer as there. Right? So this here formula always works. That always gives you your final score. And it's only based on the number of correct questions and unanswered questions that you got. You don't have to worry about the incorrect number of questions because the formula takes care of it for you because we simplified it. Right? So that there is your final answer to this question.